Julia, these job reports are always so highly scrutinized for good reason. Some would call them the biggest economic report in America each month. What exactly do you see about the American jobs economy right now that is either very positive or very negative, or are we just stuck in kind of neutral for the time being? Well, we are stuck in neutral, and I think that is a, that's very positive. So the labor market has been steady. It has been slowing down in a very gradual and orderly fashion. And I think that is exactly what the Fed would hope for. Uh, we've lived through something completely unprecedented recently, which is that we've seen a large, large drop in inflation, a large increase in interest rates without the typical increase in unemployment that typically follows. One of the interesting points you brought up the Fed is this notion that if this economic data continues to trend at the way it is, markets are now predicting what could be possibly rate cuts next year. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you believe as though the interest rate picture right now warrants any kind of a move in economic data that could justify it? Or do you feel as though the current trends in economic data are pointing towards at least no Fed action for quite some time? Well, I think we are getting very lucky on the inflation front. Inflation is coming down rapidly. It now seems that the pandemic was the key cause. We also have the winds of luck blowing in our direction with oil prices coming down. And if, inf inf uh, if inflation keeps coming down, even if the Fed holds steady, the real interest rate will actually go up. And there may not be a need for real interest rates to keep rising at this point. So I think there is very clear evidence in the slowing labor market, slowing wage growth, uh, that we are getting right to the point where we need to be. The labor market is pretty much all the way back to its pre-pandemic condition. Further cooling may actually be a sign of, of worry. Julia, where is the tilt in the jobs market right now going towards in terms of where you see the jobs being developed? where you see them falling off. Lately, it seemed like all those leisure and hospitality jobs that powered the post-pandemic gains are now starting to show a little bit of sign of weakness. Yes, the recovery in leisure and hospitality appears to be over. Uh, other parts of the economy that are very interest rate sensitive are also weak, and they, they just continue to be weak. Tech, manufacturing, construction. Uh, in the current climate, they will get be weaker and weaker still with uh, with interest rates this high. Other parts of the economy are hiring like gangbusters on you know, ZipRecruiter. Employers just can't find enough candidates. Uh, healthcare is projected to add the largest number of jobs over the next 10 years. We have an aging population. We have 10,000 Americans hitting the age of 65 every day uh, and reaching Medicare eligibility and demanding a lot more health care. Uh, so there are parts of the economy that are still very, very hot for structural reasons, but the cyclical parts of the economy are now hurting.